Okay, so hello everybody. I am Mario De Marco and I'm going to present you a joint work with Andres Colinucci, Andres San Giovanni and Roberto Valand. Okay, let me start with an outline. I will say what is the problem, what is the, an overview of the result that we obtained and of the technique that we used to, to obtain this result. And I will conclude the same more quantitatively what quantitatively what are the analyzer cases and what are possible future uh, directions. Okay, so well, let me say first of all that the, our target is the classification of five dimensional uh, superconformal field theory with eight supercharges. And uh, uh, the similar problem in dimension four was very successfully uh, faced using type to be uh, geometric engineering because uh, at that point, when one has a very good dictionary to map all the quantities from the superconformal field theory side to geometric data of the triple over which we are geometric engineering uh, with uh, type 2A to, to B, uh, well, then we can, uh, instead of classifying superconformal field theory, we can classify Calabi triple singularities with some special properties. So a similar uh, strategy, uh, it will be nice to be implemented also for the five dimensional case. And in this case, uh, one can use, for example, any theory, or as we will do today, uh, the, um, uh, it's type to, to a limit. And in particular, in uh, this paper, we addressed the fo following question. So we concentrated on uh, this called rank zero theories. So this theory has uh, empty column branch. And we asked ourselves if these theories are uh, Three hypers, so the moduli space, the X branch in that case is uh, some direct product of the quaternions, or if uh, these theories are discrete gauging of three hypers. This means that uh, instead of being a direct product of the quaternions, the X branch is an orbifold of, of it by a discrete group. So let me give an overview of the result that uh, we obtained. So, first of all, we find a new way to describe as complex manifold. Uh, the, the X branch of uh, M theory and a certain C star fiber isolated triple Calabia of singularity. Okay. Uh, the point is that the, the method that we, we found in particular applies also the, to the non toric case, that is, uh, in which uh, is much more difficult to obtain data for, on the, to do the geometric engineering. And in particular, by doing so, we confirmed and extended some conjectural result of the, of the last year. And actually, we extended to many other cases, non-toric cases. And in particular, we clarified, uh, given the input datum of the triple Calabria singularity, whether M theory in it produces a free hyper, a discrete gauging, or a mixed uh, situation. OK, so let me uh, say uh, what is the method that we use. So we start from and theory in a star fiber club of triple singularity. And uh, Sen perceives that this is dual to type 2A with uh, the six brains and O6 planes. And these type 2A objects uh, sits uh, at the logic where the C star fiber degenerates. Because uh, basically, the C star fiber is uh, the real line times the M theory cycle, and the M theory cycle degenerates over uh, this, uh, the logic where we find this kind of uh, type 2A objects. And uh, uh, let me do an example uh, that is uh, the following. Uh, uh, we, are, we are going to we analyze the, in some cases uh, hypersurface of uh, C4 of this form. So for variables, one equation is a threefold. And uh, this is in the famous UV equal to a polynomial in Z and W for um, in this famous shape of the equation. And uh, the two A limit has just the six brains. In particular, so we can scale on the left hand side u to lambda u and v to v over lambda with uh, lambda in C star. And uh, this leaves invariant the combination uv, and in particular, this describes the C star vibration. And we can play this trick with uh, lambda in C star every time the right hand side is non zero. In particular, so we just have the six brains, and so the, we can call then the, the same argument the right hand side, the brain locus. In particular, uh, we want to write it as the characteristic polynomial of a certain matrix phi, with, whose entries are holomorphic functions in W, okay? That is a complex coordinate, and uh, the open-circuit interpretation is the following. Uh, phi is the name of X field because uh, 
uh, and this is inspired by the effective theory describing uh, the D6 uh, brains. And uh, okay, in particular, we can we want to uh, uh, write the brain locus as the characteristic polynomial of this X field that describe the deformation of a starting stack of 2K in this case, coinciding brains to the configuration of brains with angles. But, uh, and the, the input datum uh, data are just the, fact, the characteristic polynomial of this X field and uh, um, the fact that the, the trifold, apart from admitting the C-star vibration also admit uh, the structure of a uh, Nadi family. Particular in this case is a Nay 2K minus one uh, family. So the central fiber at W equal to zero is the A 2K minus one singularity in, in equation number one with variable U, V, and Z. And then the W, para, the w coordinate deforms the fiber uh, and uh, in particular smooths uh, the singularity. Well, so uh, all the singularity that we studied emit um, um, uh, uh, either they don't emit uh, a resolution or uh, they emit uh, a so-called uh, partial simultaneous resolution because the resolution of the triple singularity inflates a P1 that also resolves the fibers over W equal to zero. But indeed, it partially resolves the fiber, inflates just a 1P1 for, for example, an A2K minus one family. Well, uh, we can associate to this uh, P1, we can color a black node in the thinking diagram. And uh, by doing this, we can find a certain subalgebra of the corresponding uh, ADI uh, algebra. And uh, at this point, uh, uh, we pick phi to be, so the X field to be in the orthogonal of the algebra associated to the inflated P1. So this is our prescription and again, comes from the study of the resolution of the singularity and uh, uh, is based on, on the theories uh, of partial simultaneous resolution of the uh, trifold uh, singularities. Once we have fine our ends, we can reconstruct the X branch by analyzing it. So let me do an example of what I just said. So we start with, from the read Pagoda V2, that is the following hypersurface in C4. The resolution is this rank two vector bundle over P1. And by our uh, prescription, we analyze this geometry and we produce this uh, X field. Then uh, we can analyze the that of the X branch. And in particular, uh, this is technical. Uh, just let me say that uh, uh, these stabilizer are nothing but the base change that acts from the left on the, uh, from the right on this uh, matrix phi. Okay, so let me conclude saying what are the analyzer cases. In black, we see the threefold such that the type 2A limits just contain the six brains, okay? And in red, the threefold such that there are also O6 planes in the 2A limit. On the central column, we have instead the modular space that uh, we, we found. And uh, when, whenever there is a discrete gauging, ah, sorry, uh, an orbifold by a discrete group, uh, this is uh, the so called discrete gauging of free hyper. And we in particular see that when there are also six minus planes, there, there is a mixed situation between free hypers and discrete gauging. Let me conclude say what are the future directions that are studying the metrics so on the X branches that we found. Studying further a link with the computation of Gopu Kumar VAP invariance that was investigated by recently by the other authors of this paper, but also studying different kind of geometries on non rank zero theories and higher length flops. So, thank you very much and have a nice day.